Hello and welcome to Wix Design Her. I am Ruth Ann Bowen and I am on a mission and my passion is to help female entrepreneurs never shed another tear when it comes to designing their website. So to stay in the loop, please hit subscribe. Today's topic, how to develop a successful blog in five easy steps. Now, we all know blogging can take up a lot of time, especially when it comes to thinking about what we're going to write about, right? What am I going to blog about today? So I'm going to give you five easy steps to help overcome that blog block. So here we go. We're going to dive right in. Step number one, you're going to define your niche. So you want to get super hyper focused on your topics. So let's say, for example, you, you are selling a product, a pet food product. How are you going to differentiate yourself amongst all of the other pet food products that are out there? That's the question, right? So the way to do this is you want to niche down. You want to get super hyper focused. Let's say you have an organic pet food that you're selling. One way to niche down would be to, to figure out, well, I sell organic pet food, but guess what? I also use grass-fed beef. So now we're starting to niche down a little bit. So you have your organic pet food, you use grass-fed beef, so maybe that beef actually comes from cows in Oklahoma. So see how we're niching further and further down. Now I know it seems counterintuitive. You feel like, oh my gosh, if I do that, I'm gonna leave out everybody else, but that's really not the case. The people who are trying to find what you are niching down into are a lot more, they're able to find you a lot more easily by doing that. So rule number one, step number one, you want to niche down. Number two, you wanna choose an expressive and a fitting name. Now we actually went over this topic in a previous Wix Design Her episode with Lynn from Ink and Key. So I want you to go back and watch that episode on how to name your business because the same rules apply when it comes to naming your blog. So step number three, start planning your blog posts. So what does that mean? Well, how often are you going to blog? Are you going to blog once a day, once a week, once a month, once a year? You need to figure out how often you are going to be able to blog. Make it something that's realistic for you. You know your schedule. You know what's realistic. So figure out how often you're going to blog. Then once you figure that out, I want you to go and write it in your calendar. So write it in your calendar. Write those days down. That is going to help you stay on track, and it's also going to help keep you accountable. So we've niched down, we've come up with a fantastic name for our blog, we've planned out how often we're gonna blog, now we're gonna talk about creating content. And this is usually the hiccup that most small business owners come, it's, this is the block that they come up against. How am I gonna create my content? What am I gonna do? So here's an idea for you. I want you to sit down for 30 minutes to an hour and I want you to brainstorm 25 topics surrounding your industry. 25 topics that you can cover. Then I want you to take those 25 topics and I want you to write 25 headlines for those topics using your keywords. So if you do this, if you go sit down, do this brainstorming and come up with these 25 topics, you're actually going to have enough blogging content, blogging titles for two blog posts a month for the entire year. So go ahead and be intentional. Take that time to sit down and brainstorm those, brainstorm those topics, and you will end up with two blog posts per month for a year. So we've niched down. We have come up with a fantastic name. We've planned out the frequency. We're creating our content. Step number five, promote. You've spent all this time trying to get this blog together, right? Putting it together. Now we want to promote it. So promote, promote, promote. How are you going to promote your blog? We want to send traffic to your website using your blog. So utilize your social media platforms. When you post on social media, make sure you include the link back to your blog on your website. Very, very important. And the other thing you want to do that you can do with it is send it out to your email list. So send out a blast email with this latest and greatest blog post that you've just put up that also will help drive traffic to your website. And another thing that you can do is you can have people sign up for your blog. So you can actually build a community around your blog so that every time you write a new blog post, they're automatically updated. So there you have it. We're gonna review those steps again. We're gonna niche down. We're gonna come up with a fitting name. We're gonna plan out your blog. You're gonna create your content 
and then you're going to promote it. So implementing these five easy steps means you are on your way to blogging success. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and don't, and don't forget, hit subscribe for more information on tips and tricks on how to get a pretty powerful website without shedding any tears. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.